hello welcome back to our channel um i this is a big day for me it's a big day that's a long time coming um <clears throat> i am getting my wisdom teeth out today oh god um it's nine o'clock now and we've been playing for a little while and um Killian doesn't have school today because the school, his um, school district is closed because um, we had a major storm yesterday. So um, our school district where we live is open. So our older son is at school, but Killian is home with us. So he is going to um, spend a little time with his aunt while we are at the oral surgeons. And this is what's happening. So heading off to do that. Having three uh, wisdom teeth removed. Uh, so, anyway. Yeah, look at you. Uh, look at who's that? Who's that? Who's that? <clears throat> I also had to like fast for six hours or whatever, so I haven't had like any coffee, any breakfast, any water uh, even. So, I'm really happy at least after the surgery I can have uh, something to eat which will be fabulous, but yeah, you go, Bo. You ready to go? Ready to get ready? All right, so it's post-surgery. Uh, by a few hours, I got home and really couldn't talk at all. So I intended to film, but I could barely walk. <laughs> so um, I definitely couldn't talk and um, it's just not a good place for filming. Um, so, I've been on the couch because I'm not supposed to go upstairs yet. Um, and watching TV and I'm so nauseous. Um, every time I move, I feel like I'm throw up. I did throw up once, like, a lot. Um, and I did feel better, but now I'm feeling sick again. So, I think today I did not expect to get this sick. Um from the anesthesia so I um it's kind of a shock to me um so just to let you know if you do the IV sedation it is like like I literally just felt like fuzzy for a couple seconds and then there was this like picture in front of me and I kind of like it felt like I went into the picture and then I was kind of just looking around by the time I turned a corner I was awake and Chris was there and we were ready to go. It wasn't even like they barely, I didn't even feel like I was really coherent yet. Um, so it's kind of like, so I must have been responsive, but I, you know, whatever. <sighs> yeah, and then we got to the car, we got home, we got settled. And um, I thought I could eat because I hadn't eaten since last night and um, can't eat. <laughs> And then I started to feel nauseous, like almost immediately. Um, first, I couldn't feel my face so much that I couldn't like even take the medication they gave me, which was just Motrin. So I chose not to have a narcotic. So I'm just doing Motrin and Tylenol and ice. And um, so I'm taking the Motrin and Tylenol as recommended. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Manual adjustments this time. And I, um, you know, tried to get some food in because you're supposed to eat and then take a towel, but I couldn't eat because I was so nauseous, but I needed the pain medication. It's just like a, a thing. So, um, a little while later, I slept and I tried to eat and then I got sick. And Chris picked up Killian, which was wonderful, and he's picking up Nolan now. They're getting a little something to eat for dinner. I thought I'd be eating by now, so I'm concerned because I wouldn't have had too much water and like n no food in almost 24 hours soon. Soon it'll be like 24 hours. Um, so I'm eating little bits as I can. It always feels like having the flu, you know? It's like I did not expect that and the pain. Um, so you can see some swelling here. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see? It's a little bit of swelling. There's a little bit of bruising around my mouth and like, let's see, swelling of my mouth. This area is bruised, which just tells me they really have to eat. 
they really had to yank back like my mouth to get that much I'll show you again Ruthing. Ruthing. Uh -huh. I can't open my mouth wide so I can't show you the inside of my mouth you probably don't want to see that anyway um and then here's the other side they only did one lower one here, so this doesn't seem to be too swollen. This seems to be my swollen side right now. See? So, I'm doing my, my best to recover, and I will give you another update in a little while. Um, hopefully I can eat soon. Um, I'm trying for applesauce to start. Cha-ching! <laughs> and, um... I did get some pudding down, but then I came right back up, so, but it, that, you know, at least was something, right? Anyway, so, I will give you an update. See you then. Alright, so good morning. <clears throat> I'm talking low because I can't really move my face. You'll see here, it's really swollen now. So... It's like 9.20 and I'm finally having breakfast. I just like had, <clears throat> so in the evening I slept a lot, but um, I had like a taste of blood in my mouth and my I was just really swollen, so I was not as comfortable as I wanted to be. So, um, but anyway, what I'm having for breakfast <laughs> is I'm having some coffee, which I just desperately needed, water, and I made myself a smoothie with yogurt, a little bit of um, banana, and almond milk, and then I have eggs. Um, I attempted to eat eggs yesterday, but um, I couldn't even swallow them down, so Killian ends up eating them, so <laughs> um, we'll see. Sorry, better lighting. Um, we'll see how I do if I can get some eggs down and then I need to eat so I can take some Motrin because I am in quite a bit of jaw pain and I can't really move my mouth so um, that's what's happening today right this moment <laughs> okay hi <laughs> so as you can see from my smile I can um, Move my face a little bit more. Um, I wanted to do a status check-in with you and let me know, let you know what we're doing. So, it is 12:34, so it's past the 24-hour mark since I've had the surgery, because I think they actually got the surgery going by about 10:30 instead of 10. So, what I am doing um, is I have this um, fine sea salt, and I can do a salt rinse, a salt water rinse now. So, I am putting the salt. I put quite a bit of salt in there and then I'll go over and um, I'm going to put the water um, there we are, and the salt and I'm just kind of mixing it up but, so you see some crystals in there or whatever so I'm gonna mix it up and then I'm just gonna take it and rinse it and what I do is you're not supposed to after you have your wisdom teeth removed you're not supposed to be like spitting out or anything like that um, <clears throat> most notably in the first 24 hours but throughout um, your healing so I am just gonna let the water kind of drain out my mouth I'm not gonna show that to you because it's gonna be really gross <laughs> but um so I am just gonna rinse and then I'm going to drain let it drain and then you're supposed to do this like every four hours during recovery time so that's my next course of action but mostly I feel a better I've had breakfast and a lunch um all liquid still I could I tried eggs but it didn't work I think I showed that to you and um I'm still feeling pretty tired but not drowsy from meds so that's good and then um I think I told you I'm only taking the prescription Motrin which is like 600 milligrams of ibuprofen so I'm not taking any narcotic I think I'm fine pain wise I don't need a narcotic um I don't know that anyone would for something like this unless you just kind of want to be out of commission while you're healing some people just don't want to deal with it but I'd rather be conscious awake and I have three kids so that's a do that's a that's a given um so I'm gonna do my rinse and then I think I'm gonna have some um chai tea because I kind of feel like having some chai and I had, I get my cup for that. I didn't, 
I had coffee, um, but I liked it, but I, it wasn't like, it didn't taste the same. When I have the taste of, um, this is gonna sound gross, but I have the taste of like blood in my mouth all the time. Um, so I do have a little bit of bleeding still happening. So it's kind of like a metallic taste of blood in my mouth. And so I just don't like, I don't know, the coffee just didn't go with that. But this chai I think will be good. I usually get this chai and I mix it with almond milk. And what I'll do is I'll just make a little up on, on a pot on the stove probably or in the microwave depending on what I have. Um, what I have for um, cookware because we've been we have a lot in our dishwasher right now. Oh, the lighting's so bad. I'm so sorry. I keep going into the dark spot of the room instead of like... I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping to get a shower in soon, and I'm um, not even gonna bother with makeup. So the rest, anytime you see me video taping from this point forward, I'm not gonna have any makeup on my face. But Killian is napping. Marina is working. Nolan is watching Lord of the Rings. So I'm gonna do my thing, and then I'm gonna go watch some Lord of the Rings with Nolan. Okay, so <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Um, continuing with the salt water rinses, and with the um, the prescription Motrin that I'm taking um so that's helping and then um um I guess the up the biggest update right now is I still feel really tired and like low on energy um but I also have like a really bad taste in my mouth and I don't remember this happening when I got um this molar taken out back when I was pregnant with my little one um I saw a little bit of pain here um, I don't know how much it took, like, how much they had to, like, pull at my face. I'm thinking there was a lot. I have some swelling, but it's not super bad. I think I'm more swollen over here. But I had two taken out here, one on either side, and then one taken out here. But this one kind of hurts the most, so, um, none of them were impacted, so that shouldn't have affected anything. Um, I have no stitches that I know of, um. I really have no memory of the conversation after the surgery, post-surgery. So my husband, I have to rely on my husband's um, version of events. <laughs> so, um, but it hurts a little bit here. Of course, like anyone, my biggest concern in the couple of days following um, this kind of procedure is getting dry socket, and I've heard people getting it. Um, because I have a little bit of pain down here, I'm kind of a little bit worried about it. Um, my biggest issue with it is I've done everything that I can think of that's right, but um, I did vomit following um, the anesthesia, so a few hours, well, right after I got out of the, there, um, I think I probably already told you this, but I can't remember a lot about what I videotaped <laughs> yesterday, but um, right after I got out of the surgical suite, I walked out and... Um, got in the car and like as soon as I got in the car I was nauseous um and I needed to get home and lay down and it was just like a nightmare um but it was a little while later probably so I got out of there at like I don't know 11 30 it was probably about 3 30 so about four hours later or so that it actually vomited um so and then I had to sleep for a while before I could get the nausea to go out and then I could actually eat so I vomited and I vomited a lot and my biggest concern when I vomited I was worried the clot may have not been able to form because I had vomited or I lost the clot because I had vomited. That's my biggest concern. Other than that I've done everything right. I'm not using straws. I'm not a smoker. I um I I haven't no I haven't been spitting out at all. You know if I rinse I rinse and then I kind of just let it drain out my mouth um and I haven't seen any blood it's just the taste that I have in my mouth so that's a concern and then my last like salt rinse I had a weird taste in my mouth like I have had when I've had an infection so I'm just gonna keep I think what happens with the salt rinse it keeps it clean but if you do have a potential for infection it's gonna draw that out so it could just be that I'm not gonna freak myself out too much I guess the first couple of days at post-surgery you won't feel anything it would be like later that so probably if I do have one I would know by tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon or Monday and if that's the case I can go in there 
and they'll pack it or whatever. So I know there's options. So it's not like I'd have to live with the pain forever. I just like, <clears throat> I'm worried about it, but um, I'm sure I'm fine. I'm sure I'm positively 100% fine and everything's good. And apparently now I can like brush my teeth and everything too. Um, which maybe that in and of itself will take the bad taste out of my mouth. I mean, obviously I've like vomited and I've had all this stuff going on, all that stuff in my mouth. And I haven't, I guess I was able to brush my teeth yesterday, but I didn't know that. So I saw it online, but not on the paper I received from the dental office. So I'm kind of like, I'm a little confused. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I'll brush my teeth tonight as best I can, like around the area and whatever, not go back there, obviously. And um, that might do the trick, just like brushing my tongue and stuff. I don't know. It could just be like that. But um, that's just my concern right now. It's always my concern. It was my concern before. And then when I finally passed like a couple days mark, I was like, okay, I think I'm all set. Um, and this time around, I'm thinking the same thing. I'm hoping the clot has just stayed, even though... Um, we was able to develop like appropriately, even though I, um, did vomit. So that's what I'm most concerned about is like the vomiting and the clot. And the fact that I have a cold, I've had to blow my nose a lot. So, um, yeah, cause I didn't just like have to have my teeth out. I also have a cold. I've had the cold coming on before I went in. I was exposed to Killian's cold. And so I know this is a cold versus like a sinus issue from the, the surgery, but that can happen too. Um, anyway, so this is where I am. I'm going to give you a little bit of an update, maybe later tonight or tomorrow. I'll definitely give an update and then I'll wrap all this up for you guys so I can post it on Monday for you in um, um, Monday or Tuesday. It depends because I have to heal um, and then you'll be able to see it. Hi, it is day three. Hold on, I'm just gonna put some lights on in here. Here. Sorry for the wet hair. I look like a drowned rat. <laughs> it's day three and um, last <coughs> night was quite a night. I um, had a lot of pain on my right jaw and you can see it's still pretty swollen. Uh, <coughs> this side looks all right. Um, and um, oh, he wants a tissue, hold on. <laughs> I decided to take it outside. Um, it's like 40 degrees or so and it's um, sunny so it just felt like um, a really nice get some sun and drink a chai and just try to soak in some vitamin D but anyway um, so um, So I'm exhausted, that's one, on day three. Um, really drained, really, really drained. Um, I think I also told you I'm fighting a cold, so that's been draining me, and then all of this has been draining me. I'm used to being extremely high energy, so the fact that I have no energy is really concerning to me. Um, and then I had a lot of pain last night. Um, I woke up with significant jaw pain on this side and um, I was able to take a Motrin which is really good um, and the pain did dissolve after some time so um, I'm happy to say that at least that worked but it was like oh my god like the worst the worst pain um, the worst pain <laughs> so um, but I know it could get worse. Well, let's just say it was like really bad pain, but I know it could get worse. So I managed it. But anyway, so I'm really slow. I'm really low key, <laughs> really tired. Um, I'm trying to just snap myself out of it because when I can't get sick, I can get into like a depressed state and being in a depressed state is just not where I want to be right now. So, um, I still can't eat. I, um, I'm only drinking liquids and having liquids. I did have some, some oatmeal. That's probably the, um, the most like solid of food that I've eaten in a couple of days. Um, so I'm pretty hungry. I'm going to try some macaroni and cheese for lunch. And I think if I cut it up into small enough pieces, I'll be okay. 
but pain's pretty bad on this side, my right side of my jaw, and um, but manageable with Motrin, so I don't think it's like a dry socket, which is what I worry about, um, but it's definitely painful. Um, it's pretty narrow back there. I don't know what they had to do to get back there. Um, so it could have been, and I get a clicking in my jaw right here. So it, that's where the pain is. It's like right by here, like right by where I, my jaw clicks. So I could have just been because they had to like yank my mouth open so much to get back there. Um, and so it's residual pain from that. But uh, my mouth is still not opening completely. You can probably tell was still a little swelling and um, so this is day three so we'll see what day four brings hopefully I'll be able to eat some um, right now I feel like I don't know how much energy I can offer like in a work environment so I don't know if I'll be at work tomorrow or if I will um, go in and do what I can or go in for a half day or something I haven't decided um, I guess I'll see tonight or maybe even tomorrow morning probably is more likely likely um, see how I'm doing anyway that's where I'm at now all right so it is day four a um, couple of things <laughs> you can see that I've been blowing my nose a lot my cold is still there I'm blowing my nose a lot Last night, <clears throat> I couldn't sleep. I just couldn't sleep. Um, I had less pain last night than the night before. That's good news, but I still had quite a bit of pain. Pain was even on both sides. Um, so I think that's good news. Um, the area looks like it's healing. I can see some like, it looks pink and healthy. So that is good. Bad news is I still have zero energy and like I'm dizzy at this point and I'm still like I still can't eat food like real food like chew food so I'm still drinking smoothies I'm trying to um, drink super high fat smoothies now so now I've got like ice cream so before I was trying to be a little bit healthier but now I have like this smoothie and it has sherbet and almond milk and it's good I can tell it's fattening earlier in the morning I had a lovely almond milk banana just like one whole banana some almond milk and peanut butter and it was amazing so I'm trying to get more like not only a lot of fluids in me but some high fat smoothies because I think the dizziness is because I'm not taking in enough calories and I'm not doing anything I'm just sitting around but I'm not taking in enough calories so that's what's happening I am on the couch today no one's at school Killian is now at school it's like 10 a.m. Chris is working the house is quiet just me and the dogs until later tonight at like 5 so I'm just gonna park myself on the couch and get some rest. Um, it's possible tomorrow will be a snow day. If it is, um, then I will try to get some work done here because <laughs> I need to catch up on my job, my work, um, and do that kind of stuff. If not, then I'll be in the office because I think if I rest today, I'll be good. So I'm gonna get some rest right now. Thank you so much for following my journey. I will give you an update. This will probably post this may, we'll probably post on Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest because I'm not in a rush to post because I just don't feel good. So I'm not going to be in a rush to post. So I'm sorry if I don't post for a Monday. But I originally thought that I was going to do the yoga breakdown for today. But that's not going to happen either. So I just have to put my health first. Um, anyone who has been here knows how important that is. So I hope you enjoyed the journey. Again, like I said, I will give you an update in the, um, the next few days and let you know how I'm doing. All right, thank you so much. Um, also, just to like to note, um, is that I am still taking Motrin every four hours and I need it, like I need the Motrin um, or the pain is too much. So I don't think you need anything stronger than Motrin for this, but I've had my moments where I wondered. <laughs> so thank you so much for following this journey. 
please give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this and um looking forward to seeing you next time and yeah thank you so much again namaste